Mm -mm -mm. Bletus. It's that time of day again, Rim Rims and other terribly confused people. Rim World time. The end of yesterday's episode. Everything was on fire, both literally and metaphorically. You finally launched a self-sustaining space station into space, which is very hard to say. And the game decided, no, you've had enough now. That's enough fun for one day. And everything was horribly broken. With the help of a team of experts, me, it was me, it was only me, actually. Everything is running fine. Actually, it's running. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> Everything is running fine, with the exception of. <laughs> yeah, more mechanoids. Oh, that's good. I like that. However, we paid the price. Not only in terms of a somewhat trimmed tip, but we did also have to trade our hauling bots. So, for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, the, the cause of the problem was very suddenly all the hauling bots decided to freak the fuck out. Uh, I assume where we had a secondary colony, there was some incompatibility there. Something may have updated. It might have been something really minor. It didn't really matter. I have removed the hauling bots from the map. Now, the problem with that is, of course, we made a significant investment and they were helping out a lot. Everybody underestimates the hauling bots until they get hauling bots and they realize, holy shit, these are insane. We have a new hauling bot. G kind of. Say hello to a hauling bot. It is a robot. Don't listen to his cries. Falling Bot is very good at running around. And quite literally nothing else. I've disabled every other work type on him. <laughs> they can they can quite literally do everything that hauling bots can do, and that's it. So we've got somebody who's faster than hauling bots, but single-handedly doesn't make up for the six hauling bots we had, and also needs feeding. So it's a hauling bot, but way worse. But that's also, you know, that's also a fair compromise, I think. Now, today, we get to begin strong by fighting mechanoids. That's a novel idea. But the main goal is to, well, firstly, test the space station, you know? It will probably won't be long before we get our first ship combat, and then we'll see how good this is. The problem with the space station is it's a very, very rich space station. We've got it filled with Ezo extractors and Element Zero reactors, uh, planetary drill actors, and, and very few gun actors. So it's going to be a little bit concerning when a ship turns up because we've got a lot of wealth and we haven't got much to back it up with right now unless we want to sink like all of our resources into building more of these. People were complaining because apparently I don't know how guns work despite the fact that I'm fairly certain at this point I know how guns work. Uh, they were saying that, that we don't actually need hard points to put them down which to be fair I didn't know um, and that you can put them down indoors. Uh, you tell me where I'm going to put these down indoors. You tell me right now. It was cheaper to staple them to the outside of the ship than it was to build a whole other room. We could build a spinal weapon. Whenever we do a Save Our Ship series, I do the same thing every time. Let's build a ridiculous spinal laser. And it always ends up being disappointing. Maybe we could build, like, a few spinal lasers. Hmm. We do have a lot of essential stuff that we might want to throw down. The hull foam distributes, for example. If there's a hole in the, the space station, it'll automatically patch it up with a kind of temporary substance. The purge port, which converts heat into silver. It's obviously quite expensive, and I wouldn't recommend it. We don't have any capacitor arrays. Oh, shit. That was kind of a big one to forget. Good work. <laughs> Salvage bays for if and when we defeat ships would come in fairly handy. Uh, obviously, I've disabled the shield so that we can actually leach some heat out there. But the heat management is going to be kind of dog shit on this. We could do with a lot more heat sinks. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> um, hmm. So the game has crashed twice already. Uh, no mechanoids. We crashed. I had to reload. Before I made friggin' hauling bots, I had to make him again. So as to say, we're getting off today's episode to a great start. I'm already tilted. I've decided. Look, we've only got one reactor on right now anyway. And it's probably a bad idea not to have any capacitors because then our guns can't fire. So I'm going to take away like six of the element zero. That means that if we need to put this one on for a little bit, we can we can afford that. And to be honest, we could probably just send some more Ezo up from the surface and be fine anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but, you know, I thought we should... Thought we should actually get some capacitors built. And this time around, the game has decided not to send us mechanoids, but instead to send us goat. Thank you. Three goats. Three fucking goats. That's what you give me at this... Just, just get away from me. Just get out of here. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a lot, eh? You got, you got quite a few of those, eh, pal? There's one or two of them, uh... One or two of them protein... Prothean chunks. We need a whole, like, wing on the station dedicated to Prothean replication. I mean, shit, we could do that, right? Just just put it pull that right here. Just stick it right there. Don't even have to cook these Arco Tech Tasties. 
They just, they'll just eat them raw. They'll just eat them raw and they love it. Hang on. Trapped underground. Space. <laughs> well, you know. Let's send Hauling Bot into orbit. I think he'd be more useful to us up there. So Evans is Trauma Savant. I'm going to send Evans up to, up into orbit, I think. Trauma Savant. And if we give him the, uh, the Archotech arms, it will be like so powerful. So let's get the, well, let's get the cargo pod up on the space station fueled as fast as possible. Send that down. Load in Evans and the bench. I, well, actually, I guess we could probably just build another bench, right? Don't need like any ground resources. Nothing we can't get up here. Okay, that's fine. We'll build another bench. Send Evans up. Get him some of the uh, Architect Omni Arms and just get him on the drill. Because they've got potential now with this Trauma Savant to be the best out of everybody in terms of manipulation. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Evan. The colonist now known as Evan. Curse me, I didn't rename him, so he's just called Evan now. Ah. Uh... Oh, hello. Oh, this doesn't look too bad at all. I was kind of worried that our first ship battle would be, would be a problem, but this is this actually doesn't seem too terrible. Okay. Energy is is fine. Maybe not enough for the guns, but we'll see how it goes. You know what? Let's just let's just do the old classic. Let's just see if this works as a kind of Okay, kill. Okay, that's a good sign. That means everything is connected properly. He is okay. Dropping pretty okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see how well we do. I think we I think we could be that was a big was that a big rocket? You just fire a big fucking rocket at me. No 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 no. Shields? We good shields? Oh, no. No, we're not. <laughs> well, that took two seconds. To be fair, I might have actually forgotten to connect that one up to the uh, to the heat. Hang on. Uh, yep, that would explain that one. Okay, that's not too bad then. That's okay. That's fine. Because this other shield, I place them very carefully. I'm very... It, people always say this about my channel. He likes to think things through carefully and precisely. And as you can see, other shield covers everything. You don't have to worry about it, you see. <laughs> Please believe me. <laughs> right, lasers are away. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We just knocked out the big laser. Yes. We've done it. Oh, they fired another rocket. All right. Is our other shield still good? Uh. Okay, we're fine. We're still fine. Oh, shit. We just blew a massive chunk off their ship. They're firing a lot of rockets now. Kablam! Oh, we've actually done it. We survived our first ship battle. I genuinely thought I would have forgotten something, you know, actually kind of essential. <laughs> Wait, they're still able to fight? There we go. I was going to say, that's a bit, that's a bit crazy. Look at the missiles that they had. Oh, shit. I mean, I can maybe do with a few of those. Problem that we've got now is that we don't have uh, any way to get over there. We don't have a salvage bay or anything like that either. It's a good sign. That's a good sign. All we got to do is get this shield connected up then. And honestly, I, I think that went well. I think that went well. So we could just go abandon enemy ship, right? And then there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure somebody said that we can just leave the enemy ships like spawned in. And we don't then have to ever worry about another ship battle. But to be honest, that went pretty well. I was expecting to be way worse than that. This might be mad. This might be mad. This might be genuinely insane. Oh, is it possible to... To just build a giant fuck off wall around your entire ship. Because the lasers, you can place them anywhere, right? And they fire, well, obviously through your own ship. Otherwise, that would be ridiculous. Uh, but they, when you when you fire a laser at an enemy ship, as we saw there, they will always collide with the first block that they hit, regardless of wherever you target on the ship. Because otherwise, that would make things very easy because you could just shoot their reactors or whatever. The point that I'm getting at is, can we not just take, like, the Prothean walls and just do, like, just do like that? around the whole space station. I don't see why not. We've done some pretty, pretty stupid things in Rimworld, but this is actually, this is up there. This is quite high tier. Now that right there, <laughs> that's a space station. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a horrible idea. Oh, Rimworld takes so long to record, I say, in tears every single day. Why have I got no personal life? Why can't I do any, pursue any hobbies or live my dreams? And then I just set these fucking stupid things to do every single day. And you know what? I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to stop. We're going to build a big ring. But I made the ring slightly smaller. I could have made a giant floating goatsy. So I've really shot myself in the foot with that one, haven't I? But I don't really want to calculate how many walls are here. Um, I suppose we could, though, couldn't we? Because that's like a segment of it right there. That's 200. Okay, hold on. I'll work this out. So after some... Rough calculations, uh, taking the 200 there, working out the angle, timesing it pi 
pi and inverse in the negative. I've worked out that it's a lot. It's actually quite a lot. Um, so uh, this could be actually unachievable. Each block is two Prothean fragments, right? Uh, we've got 508. Now, I'm no math, math, math magician, uh, but I can tell you for a fact that that gives us roughly um, 252 <laughs> plus another one or two. It doesn't give us many, many walls. We can, we can finish like this bit and a little bit more and that's it. That's everything. I should have probably built more replicators rather than a big wall. Maybe I could still do that. Well, I mean, look, we're never going to get hit by any missiles coming from this side. So that's already, that would make way more sense building it piece by piece. Would it not? Building like a block here, a block here, a block here, a block here. Because then they've got to thread the needle and get the shots through. That's actually a way better idea. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Well, after one or two or three or four measurements there, we've got... Uh, we, look, I'm going to build the wall up. We'll build it up slowly. It's fine. We can, we can just rebuild that circle whenever. But this way, we're, we're getting pretty massive cover on big chunks of the space station for a pretty low cost. I mean, sure, we could spend it on more replicators and then eventually more replicators. We build the whole thing slightly faster, I assume. We've got another ship battle. We've barely built anything so far, but we're pretty defended now. I mean, look, this is this is where a lot of their shots are going to come from. So that worked out pretty well. I'm interested to see if this is even going to work in the first place. Let's get the shields back on, uh, and then let's just let's just fucking kill them, kill them dead. Just kill them dead right in their stinky laser. Die. I want I want them to fire at us to see if this um they are firing at us right. Oh, they're firing torpedoes. I see if this thing actually works then. I mean, granted, it's got a very kind of slim target to hit there, but. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Any second now, you son of a... <laughs> you shit! Well, it's okay. Shield to hold it. Shield to hold it, don't worry. Okay, they got another one coming in. Okay, round two. Yes, look. Bang. Almost no damage. He's a genius. And like I said, our our lasers or whatever, they, they won't conflict with that because it's our ship, ultimately. You're not going to be able to hit the outside of your own hull, right? Oh, well, I'm, I wonder if it has to be connected to count for that. I don't think so. I think genuinely we're okay. Oh, this is... This is big brain. This is too big brain. Oh, they're done for. Oh, they're done for. That's the end. Oh, damn it. I was hoping we could cut them in half with that. We need one of those big lasers. I miss the big lasers. Those are, those are the most fun part to save our ship. Well, somehow they're... <laughs> they're still fighting. We've got to build that salvage bay too, because it'd save our people so much time on the drilling front, wouldn't it? There we go. We got room in here just to throw down a small one. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, we can throw down like two of those. So each one can salvage. It says over there, each salvage bay can retrieve up to a thousand kilograms of material from a ship. So, actually, if I'd have planned that out a bit better, we could have thrown down like what one? We could have gone one, two, three. If I move the door, we still can do it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> A pack of man-hunting super Joris have entered the area. And my god, do I have something prepared for them. So these things don't have the, you know, the flight or the lasers or anything else like that. But they are very, very, very strong. I have something, I have something prepared for them. You might remember briefly yesterday we saw the black hole launcher. How about we try out seven of them? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's not fine. This is not fine. This is not fine. This is not fine. Just fire. Just fire. Just shoot. Just fire. Just fire. Kill them all. Yeah. Die. Holy shit. Those things are good. Wow. So I didn't realize we, when we tested it against the mechanoids, I didn't realize that a side effect of that is it draws the enemies into the black hole as it's flying across. Why are you not firing? Attacking Super Joris. Yeah, or you could just fucking fire your gun, weird man. Oh, was that inside the minimum range? Ah, there you go. Right, my bad. Misunderstood how that worked. Um, For some reason, rather than attacking our people, they've decided to swarm the base. So that wasn't nearly as impressive as I was kind of hoping there, unfortunately. Rather than rather than quite literally attacking the people out in the field, they've just decided to fuck around. That's to ruin my cool moment. Fucking things. Hey, get out of here, stupid bears. Yeah! God damn, that's cool. <laughs> hmm, I may have severely underestimated these bears. Holy shit, they are difficult to bring down. Oh, poor muskrat. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to try and do something. 
I just wanted to try and do something fun. Oh, blue steak, Boris. Don't fist fight the bear. You're lucky your wolf starts to tear him from limb. It's also exactly why I decided that we're going to build, not a kill box, but a more central area uh, to, uh, of entry to the base there because raids are going to get very, very tough. And given that we've got so much colony wealth that's now blasted up into war, but the people on the planet side are going to be, they're going to be absolutely pounded. Well, here we are. Uh, like, what, 50 minutes later uh, from the bit that you just saw. Um, this may be the world record for lowest ticks per second we've ever had in RimWorld. Uh, 20 out of 900. Um, I don't know why this isn't a particularly complicated mod pack. You're probably thinking, well, just fix it, idiot. I, there's nothing, there's literally like nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, you see how slow the debug log opened up. <laughs> oh, that alone makes it worthwhile. <laughs> um, I think it's lagging so much that the error logging isn't even working. Uh, which is a very bizarre experience. So I'll be honest, uh, over the course of today, then I've, I've genuinely spent five hours trying to fix bugs between, you know, obviously before I started recording, uh, and now mid recording, it's 15 minutes past midnight. I've got another three episodes to record, um, across two channels here. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm going to call it and I'm, I'm unbelievably annoyed because once again, it's another fucking series where I've said, Let's build a space station and guess what's fucking happened. We've been we've been scuppered at the finish line. Oh, even the main menu's not working. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I have uh, I've rebooted the game fully. Uh, we seem to be running even worse than we were before. Seven frames a second. <laughs> that is good. That might be a new record for worst mod pack ever. Don't get me wrong. Let me, let me be, uh, okay, so what I'll do then, sorry, if you are a mod maker, a uh, developer of any of these mods, I'll get the logs published properly, I will dump those in my Discord, in the Rimworld modding channel, if you want to go grab them from there, if you want to try and work out what's going on, you're more than welcome to, uh, obviously if it helps solve any bugs for anybody else, that's, that's a positive that has come out of this, of course, so, um, I'll see what I can do in between episodes, but I am going to hard call this and say that let's, let's leave it here, now the point of this series, this was, like I said, it was an unplanned series, it was one of the series I didn't have on my big list of things to do, I threw it together fast, because I wanted to look at what I thought was going to be an incredible mod, and it, with, with, uh, Rim Effect, and I think I was right, this is an incredible mod, they've done incredible work with it, and that's the important thing, is I wanted to come and look at it, and, and see what they've done, and what they've done is make an insane mod, like, it, it's genuinely so good, the weapons, the armor all look incredible, they function really, really well, the new systems they've added in the form of the biotics, and the, the, uh, of course, the omni tool powers as well, it, it's, it's all so well designed, it seems like there's a lot of variation as well, people are saying that I've only scratched the surface with the biotics, and of course, similar to, uh, um, I assume anyway, with the way royalty works, in that there are so many royal powers that you, or sorry, so many, uh, uh, neuro former powers that you can't get them all on a single character. I assume the same applies to the biotic and both the Omni tool powers in this mod pack. Of course, there's even more coming with it with uh, the vehicles, and uh, there's obviously a lot. Even since recording this series, there's been so many sub mods that have hit as well. Um, you know, even something as as minor as the Prothean mining beacon, uh, the Prothean reskin. All of that is is such a massive addition. And it all works so well. I, I think if you are a fan of Mass Effect, of course, I've only really played the second game once or twice. I think this is a game changer for you. For me, it's quite literally a game changer in that we're getting nine frames a second. <laughs> what it probably is, if I had to guess, is some very weird interaction between most likely save our ship. It's probably some aggressive pathfinding thing if, if I had to take a real stab in the dark because that seems to be, you know, a lot of the issue with... um. Running save our ship with any massive amount of mods is is you're just adding complexity on top of complexity, right? And and that's most likely the, the the cause of that is that we've got two mods that that by themselves obviously work incredibly well and are great mods. When you throw things like that together and start piling on more and more and more and adding mods midway through the save certainly didn't help. It's just caused this this very unlikely and very difficult to reproduce problem that is only getting worse the more we play. And every time I think I fixed it. Those nine frames a second that we're getting right now would disagree. And who'd have thought that we'd end this series by building a fucking kill box? <laughs> but overall, I mean, shit, round of applause for the, for the developers of the Rim Effect mod series, eh?
because this is like genuinely one of the best Rimworld mods ever. The polish on it is incredible. The the breadth and the scale of it from the music to the UI, the, the sub modules, it's a great way to release any mod because then, you know, it's entirely down to you how far you want to customize it. It's... It's really, really well done. Like, it's incredible. And I'd highly recommend it, even if you are someone like me who only has a, a passing interest in Mass Effect, give it a go. Genuinely play it. Maybe go with a slightly less ambitious mod pack this time around. Who knows? Maybe in the future. You know what? I think I'll, I'll, I think I'll say it with, with a kind of caveat of I'm not planning it anytime soon. But of course, in the future, we will return to Greg and all of these other characters. Commander Greg especially, though, who's been kind of our, our star here. Um, Jimothy Cricket has also absolutely nailed it. The series, everybody in their own way have, have, have contributed massively here. We will bring them back for a future. I, I assume they'll do more with this uh, one with this mod series. Of course, sub mods will come out, updates for it. This definitely seems like a, a passion project on behalf of all the uh, all the developers from what I've what I've seen and read uh, across their kind of update feeds and discords and whatnot. So this is gonna be this is gonna be something to keep an eye on. So I think I can fairly safely say let's bring back a future series. Let's probably lower the scope a little bit uh, and and see what we can do with it in say I don't know six months down the line. See where we're looking in terms of uh in terms of progression and updates i hope you enjoyed what you saw i certainly enjoyed playing it it's a shame to end it where we did but there is you know there's so much potential for an incredible experience here so i am i'm more than happy to say that you know what even though it didn't end the way that we wanted it to it was still it was still great you know it's great fun that they've done they've done an amazing job with it so i'm very much looking forward to whatever comes next for rimworld what comes next is i'm gonna frantically um throw together no, I'm not going to frantically do it at all. You know what? I, I always do that at the end of series. I'll, I'll, you know, throw together the new mod pack and the new thumbnail assets and, and the mod list and everything in the course of like 12 hours. And then uh, I'll be knocked out for the next three days. I'm not going to frantically do it. The next series, I'm, I'm going to say it will be ready when it's ready. Now, luckily, I've already done most of the mod pack for next series. Because like I said, I was originally planning the series that is going to come out, you know, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I was originally planning that series to be well this series we've just done this was supposed to come out a couple of weeks back so the mod pack is for the most part already complete and it's a little bit more testing and polishing um but the turnaround should be pretty fast on it so i am not going to guarantee an episode tomorrow because again it's already midnight but stay tuned stay tuned we'll we'll be doing a little bit of uh a little bit of collecting so how we say i think i've already said what the new series is going to be many many times Anyway, thank you all for watching. And again, I apologize for ending the way it did. I, it, it's it's just one of those things. It's one of those things you got to expect when you break things this much, eh? A big thank you, of course, to the patrons for supporting half a series. Thank you. Uh, I apologize. Look, stay tuned. I've got I've got big plans for the next one. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be great. So uh, so so hang about. Thank you to Kane. Mega Oscar Pone, Thor, Silent Sentinel, Mathanius, El Scorchio, 82, Cyborg, Skaven, Michael Mullen, Elias, Hwalg, Asa Nakirito, Dulcimer Dangles, Archbishop, Jobo Daddy, and Gogolus for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you, guys. Again, I apologize if you're enjoying some uh, some Mass Effect here. It's, it's beyond my capability to fix, apparently. Thank you as well to Catlord, Hawklin, Huderman, Bilbo Fraggins, Hjorta123, Pockies, Omegador, Larry the Emu, Spongy, Pond Monster, Cyber Monkey, Mount Cadalbe, and Red Noah.